Hi well, everyone, I'm back again. Uh, today's going to be a very short video and it's going to be about a topic that I've recently touched upon but I want to expand on a little bit. Uh, now a few videos ago you'll remember that I put up a uh, pictorial of my uh, past where you know how I lost my looks basically lost my hair and, and subsequently lost all my good looks from the age in my late teens onwards and you can go and see that on my uh, channel if you search back through my video history. Today is just going to be a little addition to that. What I want to talk about is guys, young guys these days, they say that, oh, uh, you grew, you're now in your mid late 40s, so you actually, in your time, it was a lot easier to get girls. It, was, it wasn't as hard uh, as, as we have it today. In a way, that's true, but in a way, it's not. Now, what I mean by that, I'm going to link a couple of uh, links uh, in the comment section of this video and I want you to go and see. Now the, these are the links I leave, uh, basically they are two of the uh, famous boy bands from when I was a younger guy and you will notice that women, uh, they would still want to go for that, even back when I was a young guy, they would still want guys at this level. Now the bands I've linked are New Kids on the Block and the Backstreet Boys. Now, if you look at the guys in these bands, they're pretty decent looking guys for their age. And that was when, this is when I was in my in the prime of my life, like in my teens and early 20s. These guys were, were to the prominence. Now, if you think that women wanted any old guy back in those days, you're horribly mistaken. Sure, there wasn't Tinder. And I'm not saying that Tinder made things any easier. In fact, Tinder's made things worse. I will admit that. But women have never not been obsessed about men, men's appearances and men's looks. And it goes back it probably goes back all the way back to the to the sexual revolution of the 1960s. You know, maybe before that it would have been easier, but even then it wouldn't have been. But it may be slightly easier. But since the sexual revolution, I would say things have got harder and harder. And, and sure, Tinder's made things a lot harder again. But if you look back to my generation, so like, you know, 90s, grew up in the late 80s and 90s when I was going through the prime of my life in the late 80s and 90s, Things were no different, and women, we, you, you, although you wouldn't meet them online, you wouldn't meet them on apps, you'd still have to go out and meet women if you didn't, you know, if you weren't in a, in a group. And even if you were in a social group, women would still screen you by your looks. So I, I had a group of friends, and, uh, you know, we, we knew a few girls, and none of these girls were particularly on the attractive side, but even they would just go for the best looking guys in, in, in my group, my social group back then. So what can I say? Things haven't improved. But things were never that easy back in my time either. So get this out of your head, guys. Things were, n they might say, oh yeah, you had it back easy back then. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't have apps, but we had to go out and meet girls in person. And if you think going out and meeting girls in person was as easy as talking your way into her pants, you're horribly mistaken. When you go out and talk to a woman in person, it's no different to when you meet a woman on an app. The app is real life, and so is talking to a woman in person. They're both real life when you think about it, because if, if, an app wasn't real life, it wouldn't exist. So it exists, so it's real life. Women screen, no matter whether they meet you in person, or they meet you on an app, or however, they'll always screen you by your appearance, i.e. your looks, first and foremost, before anything else. Don't believe me. Go and check these videos out. Uh, one is the Backstreet Boys, the other one is New Kids on the Block. And this is the kind of girls, this is the kind of look that uh, girls wanted back in my age. So if you think it was any easier, you're horribly mistaken. You can't go out, you couldn't go out to a bar, a club, whatever, and talk your way into a woman's pants if you were a less attractive guy back in my days either. So things aren't any easier. If you think they are, you're horribly mistaken. And that's all I want to say today. The man overboard. I might cover a very controversial topic next that might might get me um, uh, in trouble with YouTube. I'm debating whether I want to cover this topic, um, but uh, we shall see. I will think about it, and I'm probably going to discuss it with, with a, maybe another uh, friend of mine before I put something up here along those lines. It's going to be very controversial and uh, highly debatable, but uh, we'll leave that for next time. Thank you. Bye.